And I feel I remember like a little over a year ago, I did this one show in Brooklyn, and this white girl came up to me, and I thought she was giving me her number, like a white audience member, and it said like, "Black jokes equals not funny." And I was like, "I hate did she know you people. were black?" Yeah, it was literally like pretty much a black show. Like everyone on the lineup was black. We were all bonding, and I and I actually I didn't even do my N word joke. I talked about like the crack problem in my family, uh-huh. crack and. Uh, she was like, "Hey, the crack problem in your family isn't funny." Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were like stop stereotyping your people and i'm like this is a true story that's how racist you are that a true story of like my black you. experience <laughs> offend you. Yeah. it's like there's no way that also it's crazy it was a white girl yeah i, I mean it's not surprising, surprising. No. yeah you know what i notice about you what you're friends with everyone i know a lot of people but i'm not friends. like everyone <laughs> hugs you and is like sienna but i think you were more in the brooklyn scene for a while i don't think so <laughs> <laughs> like i was in when i first started <laughs> yeah but I mean, you know, I'm at the stand a lot and people are like yeah. loving you. But I think that... I, and I was trying to think of why. Yeah. It's, you're so you're so friendly. Like, I think I have a darkness to me that you comes You do have through. a darkness. I thought you Jesus hated me. Christ. Everyone thinks that. Yeah, I was like, I don't know what I did. Really? Which, I was like, Shayla wants to... <laughs> I was like, Shayla hates me or she's like, wants to fuck. <laughs> like, and no that is a fine line. Yeah, that's a fine line. Why do you think I didn't like you? Because you have this, like, death stare. I know. It's you look like you're, like, you have a voodoo doll named Sienna in your corner. You know what I mean? It's because I'm Slavic. And I'm wearing oh, a cross, a yeah, bedazzled cross on my shirt. It's like my outfits aren't helping, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but I think I'm, like, actually sweet. No, you're nice now. You know. <laughs> <laughs> you're nice now. No, I'm kidding. No, you're Maybe. sweet. And I actually like a lot of people. I just don't like when they don't like me based on nothing. Well, totally. Not you, but I was yeah. just thinking about Brooklyn. Do you assume, Why am I triggered? <laughs> do you assume pretty girls <laughs> don't like you? Um, like when you see a, a pretty girl, are you like immediately defensive? You know what's so weird about that, the whole woman girl defensiveness thing is that I've slept with so many women and my type is very pretty woman. Yeah. Usually even like, like even prettier than me, but I mean like that's not bad, but you know what I mean? Like usually women that I'm like, Oh you my like pretty God. pretty blondes, right? No, all pretty. Okay. I've fucked everything. All, pre- <laughs> all brands are pretty. All brands Organic, are pretty. Organic, direct to table. Yeah. But it's so funny because girls would be competitive with me when I'm like, oh my God, if you actually knew my personality, I'm like sexually attracted to you. You know what I'm right, saying? Right, right, right. Like they'll just, just be like, oh my God, like the attention, like guys. And I'm like, no, I actually would fuck you. I don't care about that guy. Yeah. But I do get defensive sometimes because I feel like I, because girls will feel like I'm competitive with them and I'm like, I'm really not. I'm just horny. Yeah, I think that's, it's getting better as I get older. Where like, now when I meet a girl, I'm like, oh my God, thank God. Mm-hmm. Especially in comedy, you know? You see another girl at the club, you're like, thank God. Yeah. Like, thank God we're in this together. Why is this going off? Um, whereas before, I feel like it used to be like, uh, when I was like 20 years old. Yeah. Just, there was just some assumption that like, we didn't like each other. Yeah. Well, for some reason. Even men would try to be like, oh yeah, she's hotter. Like, they'll like, <laughs> they'll like try to like peg Little you. gremlins. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, but you know, like her ass though. And I'm like, shut up. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's really, it was guys orchestrating the, Guys, yeah. And now girl, gr- girls, girls have really rebranded. Girls, gr- and I've always been a girl. I love fucking girls. I love being friends with girls. <laughs> Isn't a girls girl if you were just a lesbian? Yeah, yeah <laughs> that's what a girls girl. A girls girl, you have to, if you're a real girls girl, you eat pussy, yeah. okay? Yeah. Um, guys, girls, I've never been. I'm not drawn to men at all. Yeah. You know? Well, okay, so. You're more of a guys girl than I am. And I don't oh, mean that in a bad okay. way. Okay, <laughs> get into that. <laughs> no, you can hang. Like, you can, I feel like you could talk about like but Fortnite. You, but God. <laughs> <laughs> it's the meanest thing anyone's ever said to me in this room. Okay, I think that I am like like i'll be kind of boyish but i'm not like you're actually kind of like masculine yeah (laughs) wait no that's not (laughs) that's not an answer you're like you're kind of like ugly in a way and so by that i would assume you get along with guys no No, i think that for me like what i do is like i'm for you can like even on your instagram you can look cute on like you feel comfortable doing comedy and maybe i'll like i'll grow into that like wearing a skirt or whatnot yeah like i cannot so i feel like when i am around guy comics i overcompensate like i'm literally like i have a sweatshirt down to my knees and i'm like yeah hi you know what i mean but i feel like if i was like my true self and i felt like i could be cute i wouldn't have that dynamic with them does that make sense? It makes sense, but I almost feel the exact opposite about you. Really? Yeah. I mean, maybe well, I'm also wrong. You, I don't you know just myself. said the opposite thing. You said I'm masculine, and then you said I do comedy <laughs> and miniskirt, Wait. which also <laughs> reminds me the first time I met you, <laughs> we were sitting in the green room, and you were like, how old are you? And I was like, 
beep that out. And you were like, um, really, I thought you were so much younger. And I was like, why? And you were like, you just like dress young. And I was like, what do you mean? And you were like, well, I just saw you doing comedy in a schoolgirl outfit. <laughs> and I realized I fully do comedy in schoolgirl cosplay. And I was like, I'm not a real person or comedian in any way. Let me, let me back it up. Let me back it up. Welcome to Hot and Single, the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're here to do. We're talking about dating. My guest is Sienna Hubert Ross. Mm-hmm. Did I say that right? Yeah. Okay. Fellow comedian, host of... Oh, uh, Something Went Wrong Pod. Something Went Wrong Pod. It's very funny. Check it out. Um, so I, I always start my pod by telling people like why I brought them on, like what it is about them yeah. that I think is good. Which I think with you, what's so interesting is that you were a full blown god honest lesbian mm-hmm. until you were twenty two. Twenty two. Yeah. And then you were like, I think I wanna come less. And then you started dating guys. Basically, I oh my god, not not me spacing out. That was so annoying. <laughs> I don't think I'm really wanting my answer out, but I'm like thinking about Jesus. Um <laughs> I uh yeah so I was I was a lesbian fully like fully like yeah. you know I didn't even like think I ever star lesbian? gold star didn't even get finger fucked but then I um I was with a girl for a really long time I had two serious girlfriends and she just was so mean and so white and just so, she was like a blonde like uh-huh. rich girl and she was just like bully me and but she was like obsessed too she's gonna watch this and kill me I'm uh-huh. not even gonna lie she like still hey girl hey girl um anyway. I long story short I and we broke up and then I slept with a guy friend because it's like I was like if I sleep with a guy then I won't get back with her so it was like intentional of like yeah. I need to fuck a guy yeah well she was she, her biggest fear was me being bi and I truly wasn't bisexual like uh-huh. I really I really only wanted that was her biggest fear is that a thing amongst lesbians I I think that th- I think now the whole idea of like people being fluid and not not just gay and not just straight is is different it's but I think that like at that even like every year i feel like the spectrum is is different you know what i'm saying like yeah. even a couple years ago like i feel like a lot of lesbians like not like queer but like the lesbians yeah, like you yeah, know yeah. like the fucking you know yeah they were like you buy girls like they're not real like yeah. they'll leave you for a guy wh- whatever the fuck but i didn't even so i was also judged by a woman i like was like yeah they're fake like yeah you know I was like, all my friends are bi, but they've never eaten pussy, whatever. Yeah. But then there's a lot of fake bi girls in Brooklyn. There to be are. Fair. To be fair, there are yeah. like so many. Mm-hmm. But then I fucked this guy and it wasn't great. It was, he was a guy friend. Oh, love yeah. him. Um, but yeah. then I, I was like, OK, I, this is not the worst thing. Yeah. And then I started. But I, I mean, I also don't even have sex. I've had sex in so long, Steph. It's How bad. long? You're going to judge me like no, I'm not. October. Uh, I can't do math, but that feels like like five six, years ago six months yeah i mean it was I, so bad do you think i'm gonna judge you because do you think i have a lot of sex yeah you give like high sex energy that's awesome because here's the thing about me i'm like um a slut uh moon no a slut rising and a prude moon okay you know yeah 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 yeah. like to my core i am a highly sexual person i'm i'm a slut in my relationships i'm a slut in my relationships yeah. i don't really hook up yeah. though like that but i don't like randomly hook up with people yeah especially now like it, once you like have like a platform the thought of like hooking up with like people and them being a fan is like disgusting oh it me. is and those are the only people i meet yeah kind of, i mean like because you do comedy every night so then it's like there's no way to meet people uh, you where, either where? Hook up, you have to hook up with comedians yeah which i can't do yeah also, I have a boyfriend. Yeah. But I can hook up with people. For sure. But no comedians. No, I know. Well, and that's hard. I mean, you can. But the thing is, is when guys try to be funny and you're like, well, I'm, I'm all my guy friends are funny guys. Yeah. Because they're comedians. Yeah. But then you shouldn't hook up with them. You haven't hooked up with a girl or a guy. Ever? Or. No. <laughs> Wait, what? Ever is, since October. Um. Yeah. I hooked up. The last person I hooked up with was a guy and he just was. Oh my god, he actually pissed me off so much. I didn't even like him, but he and he was kind of like slow, yeah, and like not in like a genetic way, but like in like you know uh-huh. he fell a lot of times, like in that like okay. boxer way. You know what I mean? He fell a lot of times. He like he like uh, rode bikes. Uh huh. You know? Like he had that like football thing where you yeah like yeah yeah things. where it's like blink twice if you're there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, but he you were dating to, an injured man. I was dating. Yeah, I was dating an invalid. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> He would come to my shows and then eventually like I finally was like, okay, fine. We can hook up, which I don't do. So he was a fan. He was like a DJ at one of my shows apparently. And then he asked for my Instagram and then we kept coming to my shows and I was like, please stop coming. Like, please. Anyway, then we had sex. It was the worst sex of my life. Like literally probably lasted like 
10 seconds and i'm not even over exaggerating was like two thrusts yeah and then that same day he like followed one of my favorite tiktokers and then she hard launched him like two weeks later and i was like oh my god Wait, but then they broke it? up what tiktoker I'll we have to cut it I'll what's it her out. name um she doesn't talk much on her tiktok mm-hmm. so it's like it's not like she'll, she'll just be like like when he's out here like trifling and she's like Meh. You know what I mean? Okay, I'll show you later. <laughs> but I think she's so funny, uh-huh. and I don't know if she's funny. So now they're dating. They were they hard launched, and I was like, oh my god, I fucking hate men. And it wasn't even like I was jealous. It was just more like I was upset that it was her. I was like, I'd well, rather. It's sad do- that she's having bad sex too. Honestly, sad. That, but then I think they broke up because he tried to come back and was like, yo, can I come to another show? And I was like, stop thinking that that's a way to like. I don't. I never. So wanted that's to the last person you hooked up with. Yeah, I was seeing this one Danish guy who wanted to have sex with me. And we were see- we were seeing each other for like a month and a half. I never fucked him, and then he started telling me that I needed to buy him dinner even though he took me out to dinner what? twice and I was like I'll never buy man dinner personally yeah like maybe if I'm like married and I'm like here's my treat like yeah I'll make you something whatever like in a loving motherly way mm-hmm. you know but Your I'm never son. gonna son yeah it's yeah exactly but I'm not gonna like take a guy out for food personally do you ever buy drinks for a guy yeah I would but if I was dating a guy like I would buy him a drink I would buy him like I'd be like oh do you want coffee like little things but I would never be like t- like here's my card personally well no i would never give my card no i mean like <laughs> no, I mean, here like, take my out. card take my social security number <laughs> no i mean like at dinner i wouldn't put my card down yeah but i just don't find that attractive like i will not find you attractive if i pay what about the girls i'll pay okay it's so different i'm very into like the binary <laughs> i <laughs> a pro binary yeah, yeah yeah i'm pro binary i pay all the time i feel like for guys you're masculine <laughs> you know but you know what it is i grew up poor did you grow up poor i grew up so poor and you, it has this weird effect on me where now i feel bad when people buy me things because i don't want them to think i'm poor or that i expect to be treated like i'm poor because mm. i think growing up everyone knew me as the poor kid for a while so now i'm just like oh i got it i'll pay and mm. i like act like i'm like really stacked you know yeah not like no, I get it. I never went on dinner dates really because I think dinner dates are demented. They're demented. I hate. I don't want to do it anymore. I don't want to look at someone making. eating. No, that I said. This I'd yesterday. rather watch you go to the bathroom. I'd rather than watch eat a you meal. Pee. Yeah. Ew. And then they have like a little ricotta in their tooth, and you don't it's have. Disgusting. You're not close with them yet, so Disgusting. you're like just actively. Getting I dressed only out. now, a year into dating my boyfriend, feel like I can eat around him. It's it's gr- and then you, you even your breath is like cilantro and you're like this is not hot and then they want to kiss you after I'm uh, like, Are you you're like there's me? barata in my nose yeah there's like ricotta in your nose hair yeah um I get you I think that pop- growing up pork manifests in different ways like also like how growing up with a dad you know or without a dad like it's like sometimes you are like more totally you know promiscuous and sometimes Wait, you just don't are you bad or good dad or no oh dad. horrible dad okay cool yeah. so we're fine yeah are you know are you bad I'm bad dad. bad dad bad dad yeah yeah. I'm, I'm Which bad is why I give no. off high sexual energy. Yeah. I also, I do have high sexual energy. I just channel it differently. Like I started pole dancing. That's kind of where I get. You have sex eyes. I have sex eyes. You look yeah. at me like you want to ravish me. Like, right. Okay. Or like I want to kill you. Yeah. Like it's like one thing. It's like you would kill me then ravish me. In that order. Yeah. In that order. I'm a necro. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Interesting. Do you, are you like, do you feel like you're lacking dating and sex right now or are you not even interested yeah i have this weird back and forth i have really bad anxiety i have this back and forth with like i like how busy i am right now Mm -hmm. and but there's a lot of things i want to do that i'm not doing so it's not like i'm happy with my life it's more just like okay like i feel like i'm on you know you you work so hard to just like get on the train to move forward but then you have to like make sure the train keeps moving too that's a bad analogy but you know what i mean so there's other things i want to do and creative things and so I, um, I'll, I'll like be like, okay, I just need to focus on this. need to focus on this. And then I'm like, dude, I'm not going to be cute forever. Like, what am I doing? I have, I know I'm not, you get what I'm saying? And like these men, like they have all of this time to like figure it out. Like they could literally, they're going like, to be hot at 40. They're going to be th- even hotter than they even are hotter. now. We're going to be downhill. Like we can keep with like, Botox. This is out. it. This is it. How old are you? 24. You're a bitch. <laughs> You're actually a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, this is it. It's all down here after this. No. Yeah. But you get what I'm saying? Yeah. And so right now I'm like, I need to find a balance. I need to go. As in like you want to like date and like be slutty and hot. Yeah. And I, the thing is, I'm not really into hooking up that much. Like unless maybe this guy, like a guy's like out of this world hot, you know, like yeah. insane. Like, you know what I mean? Like out of a movie, like mm-hmm. fucking Leonardo DiCaprio. But do you mostly hook up with guys now? Or mostly interested in guys now? I don't hook now? up with anyone. Um, I would hook up with a girl. I just... Honestly, girls take a lot more energy. 
like investments mm. in, in my opinion than like uh-huh. i'm not really in like a lesbian space where people like and i don't necessarily come across as like i feel like gay girls can tell like i fuck girls but like straight girls are like oh my god and you know what i mean and then uh-huh. it's just too much effort to be like hey would you ever you know what i mean mm. i would hook up with girls and i and it's like as I in it just, as in you have to like put in more effort for them to like yeah especially the kind of okay. girls i like i like a lot of straight girls no, no not not come i mean like literally have to text them you know right. what i mean like i can't just do like four shows a night and then be like hey you want to come over it's 4 a.m like you know what i mean right interesting and then the you like day straight girls yeah i mean sh- not straight girls like it, as like, in like you like turning girls or you just happen to all the girls you're interested in or have been straight i i like girls who have who are really feminine Mm-hmm. And typically they're straight because mm. usually when a girl, I think the ones that are feminine, uh, like a girl who's really feminine now, that she knew she was gay really young. But a lot of girls who are, are realizing they're gay or like girls in their early twenties, they like experiment with like different styles or mm-hmm. whatnot. But I, I'm really like I love a girly girl. Like who's your celebrity crush? Like, uh, okay, like when she before she was like a little nutty, Amber Heard. Mm. Candace Swanepoel like literally a girl who like I want to be <laughs> <Not> Candace Swanepoel <laughs> <laughs> that's who I wanted to say first but. you like girls that are like for the male gaze yeah I literally yeah. I literally like a fucking dude like what about like Megan Fox or when she was too like younger no, no 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 when she was younger yeah like yeah. before I mean I don't I, I like her I like a little bit of innocence too uh-huh. like bad girl but innocence what I don't, Sydney Sweeney I would fuck for sure I'm not like like she's not like a Megan Fox to me. Yeah, you know what I mean. No, I no, do she's, like a, she's. There's a spectrum there. Yeah, she's a spectrum. innocent. Megan Fox is like evil. Yeah, yeah. yeah there, I want the, the in between. I yeah. want like the you know you're like a little spicy, but you are girl next door. Who's a perfect example? That is Amber Heard. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's yeah, Amber yeah, Heard. yeah. It's like she'll like look at you in a weird way, but she's also like hi. Oh, justice I mean, for Amber Heard. Justice for Amber Heard. But also, I'm not sure. But also crazy yeah also the way she was crying was a little scary yeah i don't know but i do say i would probably choose sydney sweeney over megan fox just because she's more pure yeah i've never i've dated one pure person like i had one kind of innocent boyfriend Uh and i ripped him apart like i couldn't do it i feel like everyone i date has to be like a little evil yeah you know yeah in like a wholesome way Mm-hmm. But do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they all have to, they were like touched as kids. <laughs> <laughs> they, have to, uh, they have to have like questionable morals. Like, yeah. Like I think I'm a good person, but I do think there's like a darkness. And yeah, you know, yeah. you have to like say offensive things if you're going to be with me. I know I get You can't be like a, like aloof and like get offended by shit because I say crazy things. I say crazy shit. You know what I mean? I mean, it's we're like. And I don't mean. I don't mean anything. I no, say. Even, you, no one should take anything I say seriously. That's what I ever. say even online. I'm like, never take anything seriously. No. They'll be like, but I thought that you were like fucking that guy for six months. I'm like, babe, not you, like. You think everything online is real? You think everything online is real? I'm AI generated. Yeah, I literally don't even exist. <laughs> no, I'm part of the Illuminati. This is all metaverse. Um, shit. wait, what were they saying? Oh yeah, um, I think I am a little fucked up, and I kind of like someone who is their life more like. I want them to come from like a good family and oh, I would have loved to marry into money. I want I still had time. You don't have time. Well, I just like, I'm in a relationship. I think that it's kind of, I think it's, if this is it, it. I think it's it. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Do you think you're gonna get married? Like if we got married, it would be like for the bit, you know? Okay. But this is like, you're going to be with this man through your seventies. I, I think so. Yeah. Okay. And he's poor. He's, I mean, he, we both come from immigrant families. God. oh yeah and yeah, we're yeah, both yeah. comedians yeah okay so something's got to give yeah. someone's got to win the lotto i'll i'll marry rich and i'll tell you what it's like i'm kidding i've never even dated i've never even had the opportunity to date like a guy with a boat you know how there's like oh my God, yeah. girls who just get invited to like yeah miami with guys yeah i've never been that girl you don't want to be that girl i know i do to be clear actually you would kill it you know what i, I mean? was about to be that girl i was seeing a guy who's so rich like his his place was 30 million dollars like i had to take an elevator through his place how'd you meet him i went to a party at his place i didn't know it was his place and i roasted the place and you know like guys like that love you would kill it yeah they love you literally would kill it they love like a bitch like like, you're so spicy and you're like i hate you yeah 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 literally well when what do you think is funny online like do you are the people you like online men or women 
Because I actually think girls are so fucking funny. I online. think girls are so funny online, and what what I post online is actually not at all what I'm like on stage, which is so funny because people come. Me out too. Me too. I'm literally like the Lulu, so like you know when you're fucking a girl and she's yeah. like, ah! <laughs> and then I come on stage and I'm like, fuck it, Justin Bieber sucking a cock, like, yeah, yeah. and they're like, what? People oh, people come to my comedy shows because of Hot and Single. Yeah, and then. I'm doing like a 9-11 joke yeah, for yeah, 10 yeah. minutes. You don't even and talk like, about dating. They're like, um, what, what happened to Are You the Problem? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm you, like, they were the problem at 9-11. That is so fucking you funny. Know? Yeah, they don't like that. But I do think girls are funnier online. There's a couple people that I think are really funny online. Because the internet is for girls. Yeah. You know? I think YouTube's for guys, though. YouTube is for incels. Because whenever I post something... And the second I find a way to get into that market, it's over forever. Oh, yeah. YouTube is the hardest one to grow on. Yeah. You know? But you'll grow fast. Yeah. And that's the real money, right? And I think incels will send you money. That's my hope, is that they'll... They'll They'll subscribe to the Patreon. This episode of the Hot and Single Podcast is sponsored by Tinder. Spring and festival season is upon us. It's a good time to get on Tinder and take a chance on matching with a new crush. Who knows, maybe a real connection is in store with you and a twin flame. After all, I know you're trying to find someone you can match festival fits with. But it starts right now. On Tinder, it's never been easier to find a boo with the same music taste, or maybe even someone who introduces you to new music. But you better throw a couple likes their way, or you'll never know. Explore all the possibilities for yourself on Tinder. It starts with a swipe. Download Tinder today. What's your, like, weirdest dating story? Oh, my God. There's so many. But there's one about... It comes back to comedy. I had this joke about... I was doing a show, and I had this joke about a sugar daddy. About, like, how sugar daddies wouldn't have to offer me much because... Like, if they just got me sweet green, like, I'd be like, oh, my God, with avocado? Like, whatever. Totally. Um, <laughs> it doesn't take much. It doesn't really take much when you grow up poor. Um, but uh, there's this girl in the audience, and she was like, hey, it's so random, but was your sugar daddy stuff real? Because if so... My boss, you're exactly his type if you want a sugar daddy. And I was like, okay. Um, so she set me up with this dude. Mm-hmm. And he didn't know, like, I did stand up or anything. And he honestly, I've totally made up a whole life story about, like, how I was Thai. My, my parents are going <laughs> through a divorce. <laughs> no, I'm not even like, hey, that joke that I have about, like, I don't know if you saw it online. Uh-huh. But it's like a, it's a heightened version. But, yeah, so basically this guy, and it's so funny because he, according to my friend or the girl I met, he was like 76 years old and then he we were out to dinner one night and he was like yeah i'm 65 as if like that makes a difference uh-huh. you know what <laughs> i mean like, like oh so my old. god um he was the ugliest man i've ever seen oh, in my life no. hope he doesn't listen to this but he doesn't even know how to turn he, on his laptop yeah he's still on adele yeah yeah exactly he looks like caitlin jenner but like in between bruce and caitlin era yep. but without money like just like a <laughs> like a saggy melted candle uh-huh. like bernie sanders is hotter than him he's like bernie sanders but bernie sanders is hot so I, I, bernie sanders is hot like an yeah. emaciated bernie sanders with like a bob okay you know? and how many times did you go out with him we went out for like like three weeks uh-huh did he give you cash he would sell me like it depended he would sell me either six or seven hundred dollars a walk a walk you we just walks. walks that's it and then he would like stumble and hold on to my shoulder did you did you have to kiss him or anything? No, I never even hugged the man. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, he would get weird about, about random shit. He'd be like, he really want me to like wear a specific pair of gloves. Uh huh. And then he'd be like, I gotta get you these gloves. And he would like bring down the gloves <laughs> from his apartment. And like literally, I was like, I don't need these gloves. But then he was like, you he gotta put on the gloves. He just wanted you to make sure your hands were warm. Yeah, but he was like mad, like intense about it. I was like, sure, I'll put on these gloves. He's just like an old white guy, lonely a sat- white guy. He was a Hasidic Jew from Israel. Or something like that. My almost sugar daddy was a Hasidic Jew. So so my sugar daddy story is that my senior year of college, when did Trump get elected? Yeah, my senior year of college, um, I was so poor and I had like 10 jobs and like could not fucking pay my bills. And my friend was like, I know a guy who sponsors young women. Mm-hmm. Like, are you interested in going out with him? And I was like, okay, I'm down. I had like perused seekingarrangements.com just yeah. to see like what was out there. I But I was like, I'm never going to actually do it. Yeah. So this guy, I get his number. He texts me. He invites me to his New Year's Eve party in like Columbus Circle at this like crazy Wait, Time Warner Center. Wait, that's where my guy Center. lived. But this guy was younger. Okay. This guy was younger. Um, He was probably like 30 something. Oh, hot. Was he? It was hard to say how old he was. He was so bald. 
Anyways, so we. So <laughs> what does so that mean? Bald. Like, like he just had no hair, like well, so, alopecia so style. He invites me to this party. He doesn't tell me anything about it. I don't even know that this guy is like religious in any way. So I say, can I bring a friend? Me and my friend show up dressed like absolute whores. I'm wearing an all black see through dress. I'm wearing like a cross choker, <laughs> like not knowing this is like a Hasidic like a event. Shiva? Oh my god, is that a shiva? That'd be crazy. <laughs> he invites me to a funeral, and we show up and we walk in. Everyone's like. <gasps> And me and my friend walk in and my friend's black. And then a Jewish woman walks up to her and just goes, uh, you don't look very Jewish. And we were like, ah! oh my God. it was like a get out situation, yeah, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. And then we're walking around and I'm like, I got to find this guy. And then I just see this one guy in the middle of the room, five foot four, bald like you wouldn't believe, like shaking everyone's five hand. Five foot four? Yeah. Ew. And he's like saying hi to everyone. And then I go up and I'm like, hi, I'm, I'm Steph. And he's like, hi, you know, enjoy yourself. We've got top shelf liquor, whatever. I'm like, okay, everything's kosher. I'm like, all right. And you're like, yes. Yay. And uh, so we get absolutely wasted on like Patron. Uh-huh. And then it's like the richest. I don't know if they were Hasidic Jews or like Orthodox or conservative. I don't know. But there were some people that were like women in like yeah. wigs and shit. Um, you kind of look like it. One of Jewish those. yeah I know it's like a pull thing in my life yeah. do you know how I was almost converted to Judaism for a boyfriend for a boyfriend yeah wait why because he was hot and he was like I will marry a Jew but not you yeah but now he's dating like a Catholic uh, blonde exactly yeah. you you do you do all this shit you convert to I, Islam yeah, I learned an ancient language and for this you can guy. speak Hebrew a little bit a little bit anyways what happened with the sugar daddy thing oh so what happened was a bunch of guys invited us at that party to Miami that night for a private Justin Bieber concert. Me and my friend were like, should we go? And then we were like, no, we're throwing a party later. <laughs> we can't miss that. Should have gone though. Um, and then me and the guy texted for a bit and he was like, I, I didn't know you weren't Jewish. I'm, I can't do this, which then became a pattern in my life. Oh yeah. I forget. You're like 10 years in, right? I feel like that was like a way for you to be like, I forget that you're old. No, <laughs> Like, I forget. You've been in this a while. No, no, no. I'm like eight, nine years Because guys have been like, oh, yeah, like, she's like, she's like, she's like, been around. Who? I'll just say, it's just, just literally just Set, I've been around? Yeah, he was like, well, because whenever girls pass, uh-huh. a, even me, I don't even want to know what they say about me. They always, like, they're like, what's her deal? You right, know what I mean? Right. They're like, she, does she have any a lot of followers? In, yeah, any girl in comedy that, like, gets something, they're like why yeah you know and so they were talking about me they, but they were like yeah she's like a decade in i was like don't call her a old decade <laughs> in i'm gonna get botox after this immediately what the fuck she's like a veteran <laughs> <laughs> oh she's an old dog she's an old she dog. came up with louis chappelle <laughs> seinfeld dog. i'm the black girl with followers <laughs> <laughs> i'm the white girl with yeah followers. yeah you're the white girl with followers or people are like oh she has a fucking dating show and and she, so she got passed. But yeah. I'm like, no, I've been telling my 9-11 jokes for 10 <laughs> years. By that, I mean I haven't written a new joke in 10 years. <laughs> Wait, maybe we should cut that out. All of it? Maybe just cut out the past part. <laughs> just cut right? out all of it. Yeah, we've just cut out this whole thing besides the Jewish. Um, yeah. I'll so stop no talking sh- about things you have to cut out. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, no sugar babies for us. Sugar babies. Wait, where does sugar the, the show end? How do what I mean, show <laughs> <laughs> how did your date with the five four guy end? he he told me he couldn't be my sugar daddy because i was not jewish why well, we lie he i said like, i was thai <laughs> he was like i only sponsor jews would you have to fuck him i don't think so i think i would have to go out to dinner with him once a week but also i think that he was weird where he never gave just money he would buy like expensive jewelry and then i would have to go and fucking sell it Oh, that's yeah, I'd have so to go to the annoying. Diamond District every Sunday and be like, all right, here's my fucking oh, that's exchange for the week. That's bad. It was like too much work. No, you know? this man would buy me a lot of pastries. Like one time he bought me like $400 worth, worth of pastries. What? And I was like, that. I, what do you mean? Like literally just boxes and boxes and boxes of pastries. I think he had a problem because I was like the gloves, the pastries, like it, it would be weird. And then I'm like, it was literally like $400 from like a really nice place uptown. Like, like he sent it to your apartment? No, he like bought it with me together. Like literally was emptying out plots. He was like, I want to buy you something nice and then walked into I'm a I'm not even store. lying. I had boxes of pastries and I was trying to hit an open mic. 
and then I gave them like all I, away. I can't think of a worse thing for someone to buy me. Yeah, I that's like the low, low like what twenty. Buy me socks. All in croissants. Yeah, buy me something that I four dollars worth. Of yeah, croissants. I literally it was no, it was literally because every it probably bought me like forty muffin everything. You know, it's because he because you didn't have to sleep with him. Oh, so you want to be fat? I get or like no. you want to be fat? like I feel like you can't have it all. I can't like. Either your sugar daddy's giving you a shit ton of money, but you do have to like I would give sleep, a little I'm HJ kidding. every now no, and then. No, him I would actually kill myself before. I couldn't even eat with him. He would take me to like Michelin level well, restaurants and he would have fucking shit in his teeth. Like, you know when you can't chew as you get older? What did you guys talk about? I mean, I was making up this whole story about the divorce and everything. Did you, you speak with a Thai accent? No, imagine. <laughs> I was just like, yeah, like I grew up here, but my I said I was half Brazilian, half Thai. And my mom was Thai. My dad was Brazilian. <laughs> and they're going through a divorce. I swear to God. It how, was, old, wait, how old were you? Because I felt like I would get more out of him if he didn't think I was black. Why? Because I just feel like guys... You, you know felt like I mean? he was racist? No. But I do think that... Yeah. Well, I actually did go out with a sugar daddy when I was on Seeking. I never... I went on, on like two dates with two separate sugar daddies. And one guy was so racist and on seeking my friend made it for me i it just said that i was a brazilian 21 year old student and uh <laughs> it like just trying to finish college and poli sci mm-hmm. or whatever and then i went out with this guy and he was talking about his like his co-workers and whatever he was worked at some firm and uh he was like Ugh, i would never get with a black woman he said that, he said to, that me. to you yes and what did you say i was like okay buy me another drink i'm kidding no what what did i say i was so uncomfortable but then i was like i don't want him to i almost felt like i was like oh my god if he figures out i'm black right so you just started speaking portuguese yeah it's like oh my god that's crazy um no he said it (laughs) he said it in a way of like i was like oh were you hooking up with this girl because he kept talking about his coworker hitting on him and he was like no i never get with a black woman but then we were already on that date for like two hours and i was like i never talked to him again because apparently he also did he ever send you money no, that's the problem. They never send you money. I just, the thing about being, I think being a sugar baby is completely respectable. I just wouldn't know how to breach the like money conversation. It's a very hard conversation. Because even with like freelance work, like I have a joke about this, but like people are always like, how much would you hypothetically charge for sex? You know, like that's like a yeah. question people like, like I mean, to you ask. Feel free. And well, I'm always like, my first thought is to be like so much money. Like, are you kidding me? Like I would charge so much for a blow job, but I've also worked as a freelancer. And every time a new client asks me what my rate for a project is, I'm like, well, what's the budget? Anything can be negotiated. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, exactly. I'm I know like, exactly you know, you'll be like, how's 40 an hour? They're like, how's 12? I'm and like, then you Deal. also don't know, like their scope of money is so different. Right. Like, you know what I mean? So, so you're like, like, if you so ask you're for still ten- disrespecting me, if I say $10,000 and that's a cent to you, you're still kind of disrespecting right me. but that all being said if i got 10 cents for a blowjob that'd still be the most amount of money i've ever made on a blowjob that's true so it'd be stupid not to take that opportunity yeah i actually do get it you i know? do get it and i that's what i i even think like that's why sometimes dating is like hard because i'm like okay i'm fine on my own you know i masturbate mm-hmm. congrats thank you and then it's just like okay if a guy is just broke and not gonna pay for shit at all Like, I feel like I want someone to, like, like, take off some of the weight of my life. But again, you keep saying guys. Is it because just the effort of dating a girl? Like, you feel like you couldn't have a fuck buddy that's a girl. I could. I could honestly marry a girl. I think that I, I honestly think I'm traumatized from my last relationship. I'm not going to lie. Like, my biggest heartbreaks were women. What, what was that last relationship like? Like, what was so bad about it? With the girl. She just would break up with me every day or every day. That's what my last relationship was like, Like, too. so you know what i mean like i'm never i'm done with you blah blah Mm -hmm. blah. like just so mean and then i would never know if i'm dating someone and then and be like i love you like it was so fucking dramatic that's what my relationship was like too but it was like also there was like this judaism element as part of it too another oh same guy guy. like he was like i can't be with you you're not jewish then i was like i'll convert he's like okay wait but you're not israeli and i'd be like i can't convert to that yeah like what if we live there for five years (laughs) i offer i was like i'll move there sure you he, loved him that much. I literally made him a Google Doc that was like, here are the rabbis in New York that could convert me Orthodox so that when our if our kids grow up and move to Israel, they'll have Israeli citizenship and be recognized as Jews by the Israeli rabbinate. I made a Google Doc. He didn't even look at the Google Doc. I, there was fucking we links. He didn't even care. Because it's no. like if you wanted to, he, he would. He just wanted to break up with me. He just didn't know how. 
Yeah. Oh my God. I hate that. You know what I mean? So he was like, surely she's not going to convert to Orthodox Judaism. So then he's like, you have to be an Orthodox Jew. And I I was already wearing a wig. I was like, done. Yeah. 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 Literally. Done. And he was like, okay. Okay. No, that's actually so true. Guys will figure out a way to like lily pad themselves out of a relationship. Yeah, they don't know how to break up. Yeah, they don't know how. I mean, my current boyfriend, the way he would break up in his last relationships is he would just cheat. And then they'd be like, are you cheating? I mean, he'd be like, yeah, I guess we should probably break (laughs) up. I'm not in a good place. Yeah. I honestly think that for me, if I, uh, I would, I would totally date a woman right now. I just think that I don't feel like I have like... I'll fuck woman. I've like had sex with a lot of women. Mm-hmm. That sounded like a dude that has okay, never cool, had sex girl. with. Women. <laughs> no, but I'm saying like it's like not like it's just like I, the, when I was doing that, I was not busy. I had nothing yeah. to do. I was just like, yeah, let's go to the woods. Like, yeah, blah blah blah. Like, I the I, woods. The woods. You do sound like a dude. <laughs> yeah, I just take them to the, the alleyway. Munch her box in the woods. The woods <laughs> on Wednesdays and and yeah. oh the woods. Yeah, the I lip. mean now I hate that place, but like I was like a raging like oh. yeah, yeah yeah i went to the woods a few times you know i like came out as like gay my senior year of college i like had i did like a whole like campaign i went up to everyone i was like i'm gay guys i think i'm gay because i had like a crush on a girl mm-hmm. and so then i i came out to everyone and i'd be like I'm, you know i'm gay and they'd be like no you're not and i'd be like you're probably right but uh, i'm gonna stand by this yeah and then i was like pretty like bi for a few years like had some like encounters whatever i feel like you like masculine girls right no really i liked i liked girls similar to me to you similar kind like of claro so, yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah i don't know i think what i ultimately realize is that i'm straight <laughs> yeah okay like i i'm like a, a sexually fluid person but i wouldn't date a girl yeah i just I don't. I'm obsessed with boys. Yeah, I can see that for you. I'm like so obsessed with them. Or I was. Now I'm. I find everyone to be boring, regardless of That's gender. That's my thing. Everyone's I'd boring. rather go home after my shows and watch Desperate Housewives. Yeah. Then have to be like, yeah. So comedy's interesting stuff was there. She's so cool. She had a cool. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> having to debrief. I yeah. I want to skip all the steps, and you can't with a woman. I've never gone on a date and been like, I'm so glad I went on that date last night. That's what I'm like. I'm I've, always like, I could have been home staring at the wall exactly because then i wake up and i'm spiraling over like the lack of text yeah and i just like don't have the time for i mean i'm gonna leave for like a month and i'm i'm and like i'll be away in new hampshire and it'll be probably woodsy and pretty so maybe i'll like kind of like be like back in my sexual energy being like mm-hmm. is there a girl like mm-hmm. 50 miles away yeah. <laughs> you know what i mean in vermont yeah but i feel like we're so in new york we're so like Ugh. i think being in stand-up as a girl there's something that removes sexuality from it like it becomes asexual because you because you become masculine doing stand-up like stand-up feels masculine i don't even mean that in like a comedy is for no it isn't just like you kind of have to like command the room and like fucking top dom the room right you know what i also say is that so we're tapping into masculine energy because we have male comedians that get competitive with us so when a guy if like is very competitive with a woman in a work way a woman kind of has to be like she can't feminine her way out of it and you try to like and you desexualize yourself you desexualize that environment and even they kind of are in a way i feel like a little bit sometimes like i like the way in which like they'll look at me not i mean maybe they would i mean not that saying that they wouldn't have sex with me they would okay yeah i don't know men they would Maybe I just desexualize them, but they're still sexualizing me. But like, For I don't sure. know. But I think it's like doing when I'm doing the most stand up, I have the least amount of desire to hook up with anyone. Yes. And if I wasn't dating someone, I would be fully celibate. And if some of these male comics, I haven't met them in another context. I'd be like, oh, my God. Yeah. But do you know what I'm saying? Like the 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 kind of like when guys are like, oh, she's not deserving, blah, 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 blah. Then I feel I get defensive and then I'm not like my actual like feminine self anymore. Oh, about like you being a girl that got passed at a club or something? Yeah, just even before then, just like just like in, uh, the energy of like you're at a show and guys like want you to bomb. Yeah. But well, th- there's an assumption when you walk to a room that you're not funny. Yeah. Like, but maybe that's not like actually respecting me as a woman in a weird yeah. way. <laughs> Maybe we should cut that out too. <laughs> okay. okay, let's answer some questions from Hans. Yeah, let's people. Do it. Okay, advice for approaching hot people in public. Just do it. Oh my god, I never get approached. I never get approached. I never get approached. Do you approach people? No, I don't do anything besides live. When I was a real person, existing and going to bars and having a social life, I hit on people pretty aggressively Mm -hmm. i would be like hey you're hot 
Yeah. Nobody hit on me ever. I have friends that like they walk into a bar and vultures guys are like drink drink like they have that energy yeah i never got hit on i would say like for me i wouldn't be the one the one that i want so i don't count it does it make sense oh right yeah like ugly guys hitting on you (laughs) yeah or like a short guy or like a mousy guy Mm -hmm. that it's like okay i guess you're right there is like a bunch of guys i've just bleeped out of my yeah they, they don't exist yeah sorry you know sorry guys. but if it's like a hot guy and then i'm like what's going on and then usually they have a thing you know you know what well what used to happen to me a lot is i would there'd be a hot guy and we would start talking at a bar and it would we'd talk for like 30 minutes and uh-huh. i'd be like oh my god he's in love with me yeah. and then he would be like anyways you would love my wife or like you would love my girlfriend and oh I'd be like, my god that happens to me all the time they like we're like they like us because we're like fun and spicy yeah but they're like they have like a little feminine mousy wife at home this is what i'm like i will i will cosplay feminine <laughs> sorry i will cosplay feminine mousy yeah. for a man yeah i call it the, em- the emily effect what is that it's like the kind of girl that all cool artsy ish guys in brooklyn are dating an emily and it's kind of this mousy girl that's always like in candid photos and they post photos of her and they're like happy birthday to this one and it's like a photo of them like eating in japan do you know what i'm talking about oh yeah and she's just like she's like yeah she's like like she's like holding her shirt up like this yeah she's like cargo to this yeah they have like really nice like pots and ceramics at home yes yeah yeah yeah. she like she she comes over like a fucking and the guy was like really upset when pitchfork shut down like that's their energy Yeah, yeah 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 and then they're like i'm gonna marry her that's my wife. Uh, yeah. They always call her this one in Instagram captions. This one. This one. Yeah. yeah. Three years with this one. This one. Yeah. Th- three years with this one. Ma- thanks for making me laugh. Yeah. And she's like. She's like this. Like, I feel like I've had some Emily's in my lineage. You know, I could have oh, been an Emily. But I, I, it's like Emily's are like guys make muses out of Emily's because they don't ever talk. So you can project things onto them. You can project them. things onto them. But I don't you know shut what? the fuck up. Then ever. they masturbate over whatever you are. They masturbate to us. What is that? But they marry Emily, so she still wins in the end. She still wins. Yeah, we're still losing. Wait, we need to make it seem like we're an Emily. I know. We need to be more mysterious. Okay, well, There's nothing mysterious about there's us. There's nothing mysterious. I'll be like, one on this bad <laughs> date last night won't do it again for five months. Like, so I've never had something happen to me and then not immediately said out loud that that thing happened to me. Oh, my God. Quite literally. I literally get on stage at night and I'm like, Every guy's going to find me so unattractive. Now. Yeah. There's nothing like, like <laughs> coy about. I've never been coy a day in my life. No, ever, ever, ever. I, I'm, I, we're, we like the attention. Can't live, can't live without it. Yeah. I can't, I can't be like, just live in obscurity. Like being Emily. Like maybe I, I, my, my fun is I, I make pots. Imagine like having an experience and just keeping it for yourself. Oh my God. Yeah. Like they have a private Instagram account. They, they that's it. They have 737 followers, private Instagram account. Oh, that's and so they go to oh Japan God. for a cherry blossom season. Yeah. And on then, vacation. But it's like, where do you have that money? And then, and then she is like a normal shop. But then, oh, her dad. Yeah. He's, he's, he created. So she's dreams. like a beauty writer for Allure magazine. Oh my God. You're yeah. right. Yeah. And her dad owns bitch, like a dude. ginger ale company. Yeah, her dad like <laughs> is like Lockheed Martin. Yeah. 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 That's yeah, actually yeah. his name. He's Lockheed Martin. Lar- he makes Lar- nuclear weapons. Yeah. Wait. I'm, see, I'm not smart enough for this reference. It's like a weapons maker, I think. Yeah. He's Lockheed Martin. <laughs> um, he's J.P. Morgan. He's J.P. Morgan. He's yeah. J.P. Morgan. Yeah, yeah. He's Ben and Jerry. How frequently should I be texting my crush? I'm not a texter and prefer to chat in person. I want to be Who texted all the time. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, okay. How long? Oh, you got to text me all the fucking time. I want to be texted. I'm a hopeless romantic. I don't care who you are. Text me all the time all the time good morning good night oh my god i woke up to a bad dream fucking 4 a.m i'll be i'll be awake i'm awake i'm awake text me you know what i do is i have do not disturb my phone but then i set it so that if my boyfriend texts me it still dings i see your one pinned contact no i have like 17 pinned contacts because i'm texting constantly yeah it's my full-time job but i also like don't respond to texts me too that's weird. That's the only thing mysterious about Like, me. how many unread texts do you have? I don't have any unread, but I, I just read the, I read them and I don't respond, I don't which is worse. I read them sometimes. I just, I can already tell, 351 right now. That's... That's sickening. That's so cool. I, I hate when guys do it, but when girls do it, I'm like, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, when guys do it, I'm like, you're fucking narcissist. That's girls cool. do it, it's like, well, you're busy. <laughs> yeah, you're a busy girl. Um, how do I get with a really good guy 
who's not good at sex or what do what? i do if what do i do if i meet a good guy who's not good at sex <laughs> Who do, what do I do if I meet a good guy? Who's not, I don't Kill care him. about sex. Oh, <laughs> never mind. See, that's the difference. You don't care? No, it's like I do, but it's like I'll hump your leg. I'd rather have a good guy. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? <laughs> Looking for sympathy? Know, You're yeah. like, right? I don't even know what good sex is because I've actually never come. What? Like, I have to, like, hump after. I don't come from the actual sex. Yeah, well, no one does. Welcome do to being actually? a straight girl. Yeah. I, even from head, I've never come. Welcome to my life. Wait, so how do you come? Sorry, no offense. Well, you should get a vibrator. Okay. So mm. it's like what I do already. Yeah. But just like. It's not, you're not, it's not going to be. Through you got to go back to being a lesbian for that. I haven't even come through that. Isn't that crazy? Like oh. I still have to hump after. What do you, when you say hump, what are you <laughs> talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I'm picturing you like. <laughs> get like on the bed post like <laughs> no like quite literally i'm like okay we're done like okay then let me finish and i'll literally be like thigh <laughs> i'll just like hump a thigh and then come on the thigh i used to have this kink that with <laughs> i literally could come on a pillow i could come on literally anything i just can't come through anything that they do at all what are you a puppy like I what are you talking I about <laughs> I literally, basically, that's basically it. I can't come from, like, your mouth. I literally I just, like, just sit on my mouth and hump it. I'm like, no. I'm Get like, off my chair. I don't know, like, the ratio, Get off my chair. No, like, I'm just like, the ratio between your nose and your mouth is making it hard. I can't. And I was just like, I'll hump your kneecap. And then I come on it. And then they're like, oh, my God, that was crazy. Like, that sex. And I was like, kind of, I just had sex with myself. <laughs> but we, we, uh, your weight was on me at some point. So I don't know. Like, I don't gain anything from sex. I don't. I mean, I gain nothing. I gain nothing. The occasional UTI. Is I literally what I would be like, I can't believe I'm having sex with this person. It feels like nothing. Like you know what I mean? Like it just is. Sometimes it literally feels like a tampon. Yeah. It's all psychological. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like because a dick inside you is not like, oh, it's kind of <laughs> like okay. There's just literally like something. It's like this. Okay. Yeah. It's just literally you like know? rubbing my armpit. When I watch porn, I'm like, no, no. You, yeah. It feels like this. I have to, I have to create a whole narrative around it. Like I literally have to be like. Okay, like he flew in from Nova Scotia. And he's fixing my like <laughs> my plumbing. Like you know what I mean. I can never see like that person. I'm like I don't care. Yeah, I'll have to I'm like asexual. put a celebrity over. Him. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I've Who done do that. I like? uh-huh. I've I've done that. I've like pretended in my head I was hooking up with a celebrity that I really liked. All the time. Are you kidding? When I when I see someone into something, I'm like you're too focused on this and it's not good. So I'm getting the X. So I'm like okay, I'm imagining like it's uh who do I like sexually? When you see someone too into sex, you get the ick? Yeah. Yeah. But that's probably. I get what you're saying. Cause like if you're hooking up with a guy and it's clearly whatever and yeah. they're like loving and they're it, like, you're like, Ew. no, this is the expression. I like, oh, what do you think? <laughs> they're like about to cry. I'm like, what are you doing? Get your shit together. Like, they're like, oh, I'm like, it's not that good. It's, I mean, like, oh well, my God, tight. Like, we chill. Yeah, this is my face all the time. But girls like that shit. They like it when the guy's like, oh, oh, oh. I'm like, ew, you're glitching and I don't like it. Yeah. Also, I, I feel like when you get attention already, like you, even you with like social media, I don't, I feel like a lot of women have sex for the attention. It's mm. not even like the thing itself. It's just like a guy's looking it's at It's more, me. it feels better to get attention online. Yeah, it feels way better. In my room. Yeah. In like an outfit and a photo I edited than during sex yeah a face tune photo you calling me beautiful and saying you know what's funny is when me and my boyfriend first started dating because we're in an open relationship we were talking about this because he like has more of a desire to hook up with people than i do yeah and he's like well you get your attention in other ways like you do it online and at first i was like that's bullshit and then i was like that is true like i'm fully fulfilled i post a hot photo yeah that's all i need yeah yeah that's way more fulfilling than me hooking up with some guy ew so that's what i'm saying but i'm saying like if you have like a normal nine to five and you don't post anything they're like someone thinks i'm beautiful yeah not that i mean also a lot of guys call me ugly and say shit like that but i'm also like you're yeah. obsessed a lot of guys <laughs> have been commenting on my videos this week actually it's the same account and him just being like it's amazing how you can look so much like a man and a woman at the same that time is so funny that's that's he's my current so like, commenter. <laughs> yeah he's gonna kill me what do i get i i only i fucking i get the weirdest stuff they'll just be like they'll be like oh she's they're just trying to figure out my race right but they'll be like mean about it she's like nah she's a mongolian like you know what i mean it'll just be like, a white like i'm thai yeah actually. i'm like actually filipino and thai um yeah. <laughs> Turkmenistan. 
Am I going to get canceled through this pod? Did I say anything bad? This was like the most G-rated one we've ever done. I really? Yeah. Oh yeah. my God. We've said way crazier things on what here. What should I say? What? Should I say something crazy? Uh, do you want to? No, Is there I don't anything, Do you have I'm any scared. hot takes you want to say? Hot takes. Um, black people. No. no. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. What's a hot take I have about dating? Smells. We got to work on how we smell. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. Some of these men smell. I don't know. Maybe I just don't like men because I'm grossed up by everything they do. I'm like, you're I hate gay. the sounds. Shannon, I hate gay. the smells. I hate the musk. I'm literally like, Ugh. you need to come back out of the closet. Yeah. I went back in. I just you, need a good you girl. You went back in. I need a good girl. I need, maybe I just wanted Emily. You know what I mean? Okay. But I need like an Emily, Emily. Like I can't have a girl that's like. You need an Emily with a little spice. She's like an Emily, but she's like randomly into like um, Japanese bondage. Yeah, but like you know I mean? on the low, like no, 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 that nobody knows. Yeah, like she wears like skirts and she shit. She has like a private Instagram just for Shibari. Is that what it's called? Shibari. Oh, is that when they like spin on the, the they wall? They tie it up. What? Yeah. Wait. <laughs> I think there's spinning what? involved. There's spinning. I've looked into it. It's like it's like it's like whiskey. Japanese whiskey bars have it. Wait. <laughs> No. <laughs> that didn't make sense we don't know anything about japan <laughs> is what i learned in this podcast but they do have a cherry blossom they have cherry season. blossom centauri toki is um, great the, um, the last thing i do on this pod is is tell people if i think they're the problem and i i don't think you're the problem i think that we're busy yeah we're busy bees i think stand-up makes people asexual except for guys it turns them into rampant actual sexual predators yeah every guy cheats yeah Stand every up. stand-up comedian cheats every if you're a girl and you're dating a male stand-up break up with him right you. now okay my boyfriend's cheating on me <laughs> yeah okay. he's cheating on her she's cheating not on him yeah. or i don't know that's but yeah different. they're all cheating they're all trying to hook up with the girl comics in the club by the way so beware they're trying to hook up with you not me they're not trying to hook up with me. nobody's trying to hook up with me why do you think i'm here <laughs> <laughs> why do you think i invited you um okay well that's it that's actually it. do you have anything you want to plug um <laughs> yeah follow me on instagram sandy hubert ross um i have a podcast with Vinny from the jersey shore if you give a fuck come watch it we have cool guests and um come see me live typically at the stand with stepdags 